Hello again, it's me, Eliza, here at the Hatfield Public Library, and I'm back with the second half, the second half of my box of, uh, big box of adult books. Here we go. Um, do, 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 Evolution Gone Wrong. Ah, that seems like a burn on human people. Uh, the Curious Reasons Why Our Bodies Work or Don't, and Alex Bezerides. I actually have a number of questions about things that just don't seem like they were designed well um, for people, and I think probably for some animals, too. So this seems interesting, from blurry vision to crooked teeth. Interesting. Ah. This is one of these ones where I'm like, maybe I'd read it. Maybe I'd just like skim through and like look for some interesting bits. It definitely, definitely makes me think right away about what he's going to be talking about. Ooh, The Great Circle by Maggie Shipsteed, um, who wrote Seating Arrangements, which I did not read. Oh, Great Circle ranges from Prohibition era Montana to the wilds of Alaska to wartime London to modern Los Angeles. Epic tale of two extraordinary women um, is this two timelines? No. After being rescued as infants from a sinking ocean liner in 1914, their two women are raised in Missoula, Montana. Then they become, or one of them becomes a pilot, goes all around the globe to the North and South Poles. The other uh, becomes an actress. Wow, that's like a lot of story. That's you don't have to. I feel like you don't have to worry about sections of that book where it's like, oh, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. It sounds like a lot is going to be happening. A special place for women. Oh, this has such like a nice, uh, uh, friendly cover. Laura Hankin, author of Happy and You Know It. I have to say, looking at this, I do not know. This is kind of unusual. I'm not actually sure if this is a novel or not so but it is blurbed by a novelist so that seems like it's probably a novel ah uh, yes okay so for years rumors have swirled about an exclusive women only social club where the elite taste makers of new york city meet <gasps> oh the women even handpicked the city's first female mayor but no one knows for sure and then a journalist decides she's going to break into the club that sounds so intriguing i'm so happy that this turned out to be fiction i love the pink cover i love the mysterious door thing that's going on i'm just all all about that daniel james brown oh author of the boys in the boat the boys in the boat i think still may hold Maybe not. Maybe not still. Uh, Michelle Obama might have might have beat it out, but for a while it held the um, statistical record for nonfiction book most checked out ever in our library. And so this, no wonder we got his new book. It's called Facing the Mountain, and it's a true story of Japanese American heroes in World War II. Burn. New research blows the lid off how we really burn calories, lose weight, and stay healthy. You know they're serious if they're using the, like, all caps. Herman Ponser, Ph.D. Um, so basically, I think the idea of this one is, is reveals for the first time how human metabolism really works so that we can finally manage our weight and improve our health. Huh. It sounds like what he's, I, I don't know, we'll have to take a look at this book more closely, but it definitely sounds like he does not agree with what people are currently saying, and he has, has things to say. Oh, the plot, this is unusual, too, because here's a book that's coming into the library, but I have already read it, or I listened to the audio, and it was, let me tell you, it was quite a plot. Um, let me see, I'll try not to summarize too much, because I feel like it's a good one. Um, to just sort of go in not knowing too much. But basically, it's about a guy who hears um, someone tells him the plot of a book idea they have, and then that person dies. And so he decides, well, no one's going to use that plot now, so I'll just write the book. And uh, yeah, things happen. Mary Jane by Jessica Enya Blau. Ooh, this has a record on the cover, which I feel like gives it maybe a little bit of a 70s. Oh, look, right on the front it says 1970s, historical fiction. That's now historical fiction. Um, it says, Almost Famous, which was a movie, meets Daisy Jones in the Six, a funny, wise, tender novel about a 14-year-old coming of age in 1970s Baltimore. Uh, it sounds like her family is very straight-laced, but then she nannies for a family that is uh, more non-conventional. 
Oh, we have two more books, but they're both kids' books, so they're going to have to wait for a kids' unboxing. So I'm not going to do them here. That would be, then they would miss out on the kids' unboxing. So that means I have. Do, 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 do. Look how big this box was. It was really huge. But now it's empty, and I'm all done. Bye.